What's up, divas and bebos? So it's your girl. So it's your girl. And we're about to do this try on. Like, who don't like to try on clothes and model for the camera? Like, say cheese. Hello. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Yes, it is time for another Rose Gal video. Let me get pumped up because, you know, let me just get pumped up. I got to, like, bring my feng shui because sometimes, you know, you have that bad vibe or you just got some bad feng shui around. I'm just about to say the F-bomb. So I had to, like, kind of, like, pump myself up for this. Like, pump it up, pump it up. So I'm actually doing these videos prior to my surgery, you know, like my womanly surgery. Um, well, I'm already a woman in case y'all was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you know, removing your womanly good stuff, like, you know, hysterectomy. So I'm doing that prior, I'm doing this video prior to my surgery because I'm just doing it now so that way I can have some things to edit. So you guys, yes. So we don't get into this Rose Gal video. Y'all already know how I feel about them. I love them. I love them so much. I love, I do actually really do like Rose Gal a lot. They do have some really, really nice things on their website. So, you know, don't be shocked if a girl come through looking trending. But on, on a serious note, they do really have some nice stuff on their website. Nice, affordable stuff, okay? Not just clothes and shoes and bags, but you can find you some wigs, girl, like, um, yeah and you can find you like some really really nice home decor i love home decor from there not everything but a lot of stuff i really really do like also games toys men's clothes apparel you, you name it they got it except for like we i mean like i mean like they got we and stuff but you you know you get the joke so i do like to get things from there but shipping is like you know some days it can be fast it all depends on what you order especially if it's in stock then girl you getting that okay but they do have sister sites too um, i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of zafu and sammy dress and rose wholesale and dress lily and a fairy dust and no, i don't really know if fairy dust is one but it's something like that okay Either way, they have a nice amount of different websites. So if you see something that I have on and it's not available on Rose Gal, just copy and paste the description name of it and go to their other sites and paste it. I guarantee you will find it because I have done that before. So yeah, prior to you picking your size out on their website, whether it be pants, shirt, whatever, as long as it's clothing apparel, make sure to measure your body, like hips, breasts, bust you know that's all the same thing like um i don't really measure my legs because it's gonna come long or short regardless because i'm only like five almost like five four something like that um but i will definitely measure myself and then for each garment of clothing that you decide to choose to put in your basket your cart make sure you check the size chart the measuring chart for each item because the sizes do vary okay don't go up a size or two like everybody else on youtube be saying don't do that because i've done that several times and trust me it's not gonna fit so check the item out one thing i've had was a 1x then a 2x and a 5x and this is all in one order because the sizes do vary so as for the shipping the shipping varies also some things say oh, i'm processing three days some things say processing five to ten or seven to fifteen are in stock available and you can also find coupon codes on their website and also retail me not you can get like free shipping if you find like the right coupon code either way just do what i say okay so we're gonna get into this so the first thing that i'm wearing is this wig and it's really really cute okay and this is my Hair BB Kinky Straight wig that I've had since April, and I absolutely love it, okay? So I just put it up in the bun, hun, because I thought it looked super cute for this video. I, I like the bun on my head. I think that looks good with the bun, okay? Especially if I could put on a wig and then pull it down some. And these are not pasted to my head. They're just little wispies, okay? That's the first thing I'm wearing. But the first thing that I'm wearing in this video is actually this shirt that I have on right now, which I am absolutely in love with, okay? 
So I don't really wear like a lot of red things. I don't really have a lot of red clothing, but for this haul, I got like a lot of red stuff or with red stuff in it. But this shirt is so cute. It's a really nice kind of like sheer type of like chiffon type of sheer type of fabric. And it is a crop top as you guys can see. So it's not really like too cropped where it's coming up too far. So if you have like an area that like in your midriff area that you're so concerned about, you can definitely, you know, pull it down enough. This car is made of elastic. So it does stretch. I like the color. I think this was the only color that was available. Number one, I'm impressed with the sleeves because they're split open and they're bell-like sleeves. So these are so cute. Like I love this. Plus I do like the detail on the sleeves because it has like these ruffles type. Kind of reminds me of like a fiesta type of thing. Like, arriba! like you know, cause I am in Arizona. So there are a lot of Hispanics. So arriba! Arriba! I'm really happy today, okay? Um, and the color is not like this really bright red. It's more or less like a dark, deep red. This is from the plus size section. I think this also comes in like regular sizes. You know, like I said, their sizes do vary. Some things I can wear in the plus size and some things I can wear in like, I don't know, the skinny girl size. That's what you guys want to call it. But I really do like this shirt a lot. I like the fact that you can pop your collar and be mysterious like honey. I love the bell sleeves on it. That's this it's like totally different for me you know fits comfortably now i don't know about drying it because um i wouldn't advise to dry it just because of the material but it does fit nice and it's a really cute shirt like you can wear this to work you can wear this with a i think you can wear this shirt like an, well if you exercise don't wear the shirt but i think this is like a nice universal blouse okay another red shirt and this one is red and white and i think this is a navy blue stripe okay so it's off the shoulder and this was also from the plus size section i think i'll, I'll post everything all the links below yes yeah, style your curve so this is also a large and it's not as tight as you know you would think because it is stretchy so it does fit nice it fits like normal it's not too tight and it's definitely not too loose and i don't really do stripes especially this way going across but for some reason i really do think that this is a cute shirt so it's a deep red color and it's a navy blue and like a cream color and it is like the fabric is really good quality so it's not something cheap to where you think you know what I'm saying like you never get something and it's really like it's a nice stretchy material but you know that over time when you get like the little linny balls this fabric is not made like that i don't see this happening and it does have like the crisscrossing in the front of it like the crisscrossing band over it so i think it's cute it all depends on what you pair with it i think like a really nice pair of fitting jeans would definitely look cute with this hunties like for real um the next item is this um gray and white kind of like bodycon dress this is also from the plus size section. So I do like the fit of it. It's a nice fabric, so it's not really, I'm trying to think like, is this wool? I'm trying to find like the tag. Just, okay, so it says it is polyester, 100% polyester. Now I definitely don't shrink this. It's not itchy. Now as far as the buttons are concerned on the side, um, they're cute, but I'm not really sure how I feel about them. So good thing they're not sewn on so tightly to where it'll leave an indent. You could cut them off, and I think I may just cut the buttons off. I'm not really sure. You guys tell me what you think. Like, I like it, and then I don't like the buttons, so I'm kind of like in between with the buttons. So tell me what I should do. So the buttons are like this creamy oak kind of like color, and like I said, I'm not really like... Hmm. I'm kind of like on the fence about the buttons, but I like this dark gray the white in it kind of like brings it out And you know it can be it can't I really can't take this dress as being too serious Meaning like don't think that you're gonna go out get dressed up type of type of look But I do take it as you know, I want to wear a dress today That's how I feel with this dress, but I like it I just wish it was a little bit longer because I know once I start walking definitely gonna rise up but you know, as long as you're with your man you wearing this, then you should be okay. It's cream color, like off-white, deep as hell, plunging sweater. Now, first of all, I like this sweater. It's very soft and the quality of it is lightweight. I know you guys are probably wondering why am I getting a sweater in Arizona? It's never cold and it actually does get cold here. Not like New York weather cold, but it does get cold. And this type of fabric, like this type of sweater, is perfect i don't see this like 
linting up. It's not like that type of knit yarn where it gets all fuzzy. It's not made like that. It's like a totally different kind of um, yarn, but um, it's very plunging in the front. So like you're either gonna have to wear a camisole or you're just gonna like have to let your boot show. Like it's up to you. Me, I just took a little safety pin and you know, pinned it up as much as I could, even though the girls are still out. That was just as good as for me. Like, you know, I'm not really trying to be going there. And the size that I have is a large and it's a US 14. This sweater is like bomb as heck. Like I like it, it's so soft and it's very like loose fitting. Like it's, it doesn't make you feel itchy and it doesn't make you feel like, you know, hot. But I think the sweater is super, super cute. The next item that I have on is this rust color, like crop topish type of sweater. I don't really want to say this is a sweater because it's kind of like you can see through it a little bit, but you can't see through it. And it's not very, it's, it's very lightweight. Like this is lightweight material. This did come from like the non plus size section. It's a size large. I like this, like I like this color a lot. I like the way it feels. It's comfortable, it's stretchy. You know what I'm saying? You got room in it. It's a crop top, but it's not too crop. And you can also untie it and just tuck the tie in. You can put it in a bow. This is like a really nice kind of like crop topish type of sweater. Um, yeah, I like this color a lot. It's very, very lightweight. It's more or less like, I don't want to call it t-shirt material. It's definitely polyester, but it's not something that is super heavy. And I don't see this balling up. I don't think you would want to dry this, but I like this. This gave me like the perfect like look in these jeans. Now the jeans that I have on are not from Rose Gal. They're actually from Montique's Boutique. Um, online and I did do a video on that showcasing those but I do like this as well okay so plaid is in okay like lumberjack is in this year and I think it was in like somewhat of last year too but girl let me tell y'all I am loving like this reddish color lumberjack or black and white lumberjack like yes I could just bring some of my stuff out of the closet again like you know how stuff goes out of trend and it comes back in and then y'all young people think that y'all bought it back in trend or y'all bought it into trend when it was already in trend. We done did that already. Been there, done did that. Okay. So this one right here, I like this high, low, freaking lumberjack shirt. Like this, like I said, I don't wear red, but I really do like the shirt. Mumsy, my daughter said it was cute and she was going to borrow it. And I was like, go ahead, girl, go ahead. It's a size large and I love it. Like it's not too big. The sleeves are exact, like right at the wrist, because I hate when something is too short on my arms and it makes my arms look like I got high water arms. Like, I don't really like that. And I love like how it flows in the back and it has like the layers. Like, you can be like a country bumpkin and look real cute. Like, put on some cowboy boots or some nice like thigh high boots with this girl or something, you will be lit as Okay, I think this is so cute. Like y'all may not be into this, but I'm telling you, oh, this is so freaking cute. Like, so then also I do have on this crop top, kind of like fleece polyester type of jacket right here. This is cute and the size is a one size fits all. And on the back it says, going home okay i like it it is really cute i don't know about saying going home but you know they could have just left that blank but it still is really cute it's kind of like a varsity slash i don't know i don't know but it's cute now here's the thing i did say zoffel is this sister site so as you guys see the tag that says zoffel forever young and inside it also says zoffel i love their clothing like both of them um, the jacket does have like, you know, the strings on the side to pull it like the elastic, but it kind of messed up on that because they didn't put it through all the holes. So it's kind of like this. There aren't any pockets, of course, because it is a crop jacket. So weird. I mean, you could have had like a pocket up here. I wish they would have because I just like pockets, but I do like it on the front. It says, I don't know what it says. I don't know what this says on the front. I don't really know what that says on the front, but either way, it's really cute and the colors are black and green. And you know, it just got that cat on the back. Like he's going home, wow. Lumberjack plaid is in, so I had to come through with this red and black style, lumberjack style motorcycle jacket. Girl, I was 
fiending for this jacket. Like when I seen it, I was like, yes, I have to get this. So it's a large, a 14 large. I like this because of the hardware. So it makes something like a country bumpkin type of kind of style, country style into like, you know, a motorcycle type of jacket. It does have pockets on the side, on each side. And then on one of the sides, it has like this faux kind of like pocket that just has a flap to it. But at least it, the pockets that they actually do have are deep. Like they're not like, normally when I get a jacket from there, the pockets are so small that you could barely fit your entire hand in it. This one you can, it's definitely not wool. So it's not itchy, like it's bomb. I love the belt on it, like for real. And then the way it zippers up all the way so that way your chest is not all open and you can keep warm. But yes, plaid is in, okay? And a motorcycle jacket that's plaid, yes. Mom's just like, I don't know about that. And I'm like, why? It's cute, it's plaid, you like plaid. Uh, but it's a motorcycle jacket, but that's, the, that's what makes it even cuter. I think this is like dumb to you. Girl. And I also did pick up, I also did pick up this red negligee, um, lace negligee, and I got it out of the plus size section, and um, the size that I got in this was a size extra, extra large, a double XL. Girl, I couldn't get this on. Like, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't stretching enough for me. Like, it was kind of like stretching the wrong way, like. A bitch need this to stretch to the sides, like across. I'm sorry, but a girl need this to stretch this way, not like this way. I don't care about the length. I needed to stretch this way, and it wasn't really stretching that way. So I couldn't get this on, and I had good intentions and uh, plans for this. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I guess I would have to lose some more weight. But it also, like, the sleeves weren't stretching, like, across. They were stretching down. Like, I wish they would have sewed it the other directions with the fabric because the girl was really trying to um, look cute. But it really is still cute. It's a double XL. So, like I said, some things vary in sizes, and this was one of them. It did come with these little G-string red panties. So, that's the reason why I don't have it on the video. But even if I could have fit it, I was not going to wear this for you guys. Like, no, that's a private moment. Um, as for my daughter, Nay, she also did get these um, distressed jeans, which look so cute on her. Like, they really look cute. And it's so funny because I have these same exact jeans from Rose Gal. The bottoms are frayed and distressed, which are cute. She looks really cute in these. Like, I could not fit into these, so I wouldn't have gone to try these off for you guys. But the size that she has is a size medium, okay? So she did lose. Nay lost some weight. And for their jeans, some of them are, well, when I put them on, they're low rise. Like, they're, my, my butt crack is out a little bit. Um, but I do like their jeans. Like, they're really nice. And I like the fact that they have some stretch to them. Not all their jeans have stretch, but a majority. You can always tell. You can just read the description. But I think these are cute. Like, they have some really nice jeans on their website. Okay. So, you guys, I think that is about, yeah, that's about it for my try on. So I hope you guys have like an amazing day. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in this next video. Bye.